Today is the day a mere mortal like myself gets to try out a fully handmade custom guitar. Today I try out the Nebula from Eric Nodin from Nodin Guitars. <laughs> This guitar is on loan from Nodin Guitars. I don't get paid for this review, so all thoughts and opinions are my own. So a couple of weeks back I made a video about small guitar builders and my number one pick was actually Nordin Guitars. And after that video was made and put out into the world, Erik Nordin contacted me and asked me if I wanted to borrow some of his nice looking and awesome playing guitars so uh, yeah of course i said yes so now i have two guitars to try out i've never held a custom made guitar in my hands before so this this is going to be super interesting so let's have a look at the body the body is made out of Karina. the top is clara walnut the back is a cream white satin thing it looks and feels awesome this body also features a tortoise binding, which I'm super into. Uh, tortoise pickguard as well. As for hardware, we have a mastery bridge, a mastery tailpiece, a volume, a tone, three-way toggle, and you have this part. You can split the pickups and you can put them in series and parallel modes. Super versatile super nice i like it a lot the weight of the guitar is 3.6 kilos which isn't a lot uh, i like it i'll put up the numbers for you americans so you can see it this is the first time i've ever tried a mastery bridge and a mastery tailpiece um i mean what can i say it's super stable sounds great much better quality than the Fender ones, much better quality than the State Trim that I have in my Jazzmaster. I really like these, but you know, they cost a bit of money. But to me, I kind of, I can't probably not live without it now in my other offset guitars. So the pickups in this guitar is Lundgren 67. I've never tried Lundgrens before, which is weird because I'm a Sweden. I should probably try them sooner. But what I can say about them is that they sound really great. They are super articulate. Uh, they are very mid-focused, a tight bottom end, uh, beautiful highs. I, I was surprised actually. Uh, sounds really great through a lot of different amps. I've tried them on a bunch of them on my Kemper. Let's have a look and let's have a listen. <laughs> Now on to the thing I care about the most when it comes to guitars and it's the neck. And the neck on this guitar is beautiful. This neck features a Indian rosewood fretboard with stainless steel frets, mother of pearl inlays. The neck wood is curly European maple, sycamore is the proper name I think, depending on where you live I guess. Uh, the compound radius of this neck is 10 to 12 inches. One thing to note is that it has 23 frets instead of 24, uh, which might annoy some people. I don't mind it at all, actually. The tuners are Godos 510. Yeah, I mean, this just feels great. It's oiled. Yeah, it's great. You can't complain about this. And stainless steel frets is just my jam. And the frets are beautifully rounded as well. Yeah, this is the way to go when it comes to making a neck. I highly recommend it. It's beautiful, beautiful. Super nice flaming on the neck as well. I don't know if it came off in the camera, but it just looks awesome. The playability of this neck is super smooth, 
super fast. I would have liked smaller frets, but that's just me because I come from the Music Man world where the frets are a bit smaller. But getting used to these, I mean, took 20 minutes and then it was fine. Yeah, plays great. I really like the neck. <laughs> So should you go out and buy a custom guitar like this, something that was handmade by one guy? Before I tried these out, I probably would have said no. But today, after even yeah, knowing Eric and meeting him, I feel like, yeah, I want one now. It's special as hell. It's so special to play something that just one guy made and it's custom for you. It's yeah, it's beautiful. Can't really put a price on that. I mean, yeah, it's something to keep for life. I kind of want to buy one now, so I have to figure that part out. So if you have any questions about this guitar or any of the other guitars in my little room here, please let me know. Write a comment down below. Also, let me know if you are into other custom guitars. Do you like this one? What do you like about it? Uh, let me know. Let's talk about it. I love talking about guitars, so yeah. Contact me, send me a DM, let's talk it out, I would love that. Until then, talk soon.